Hello everyone, Zoom Zoom here, welcome back to Let's Play Blastmaster Zero Free. Last time, we made it this far into the Forbidden Sector, but it's time to head even deeper. Closer and closer to the end. now because I've gone. Well turning all the way back it is then. Focus up last. Save. Must roll. this. And now we'll nuke this this boss. Oh no, there we go. A joke. And 
And now, there's only one thing to do. And this is why we need it. Otherwise, we can't get through. And we didn't actually fully charge. Huh. Oh well, it's not... This must be what was giving off the mean core signal. Whoa, you gotta be kidding me. This thing's no freaking way. That can't be. This should be our first time seeing this mean core. However, G Sophia's AI is recognizing it as a mutant we fought before. Planet G. Planet G destroyed the sector of space where Leibniz's home once was. But even I defeat it already, and it's now it's holding her hostage. Now it shows what fast it's the one and only Plan A G. What gifts? Plan A G is a parasite that destroys planets, and this is its core. Did the core somehow managed to survive and make its way here? Jason, look closely. Eve! Is she unconscious? So Eve really is a mutant core. The planet G take her hostage? The mutant core has the authority to control the actions of her immunes. By trapping her, planet G could be using trying to use her power as the queen. So as long as it has Eve, their immunes will protect it, right? Who cares about all that? This thing's the root of all our problems. <laughs> Oh, how did I get so lucky? That thing took my home, my family, and Lucia for me. All I wanted to do was kill this m damn monster, but I couldn't. And now here it is, right before my very eyes. I was right to stick with you, Jason. Come on, don't you want to save Eve? You can save her if you kill it. Come on now, kill it. Kill Planet G. I got Front row seat of the whole spectacle. Calm down, Leibniz. I need to fear it, but it doesn't seem like I can use the guys to damage it like I did last time. I have to fight it head on, but the frame is barely holding together. Come on, guys over here, we Hang on just a bit longer. Yeah, we didn't get to see the cutscene. Bloodstained Planet G. So. Makes sense to use the homing laser. I'm just going to spam it, really, because... Well, the cutscene you know, I wanted to hopefully see was Leibniz lit complaining about what they did to Garuda, and then saying, and then Jennifer telling him that, yeah, no, Garuda's, the guys that worked on Garuda are planning to rebuild it better so it can't be shot down. And Leibniz asked for one simple thing, then to put in goddamn joystick, so they can't, so, since it's so hard to drive with a steering wheel, and since this might be a fire pilot bomber, Sort of thing. Yeah, no. And it goes into superdimensional space. So it can move through superdimensional space too. Managed to give with it. Even that nasty state. <laughs> what a stubborn monster. Damn. I won't let it get away. And there goes Sophia. Gah! Frame's completely done for. I like that. That sprite of Leibniz gave us all it has. It, it gave everything it had, all the way from Earth to the very end. Sorry for putting you for so much. Thank you, G Sophia. SV. Okay, so what's the plan now? Can you even kill it without an enemy? 
with enough damage to force it to escape into superdimensional space. Jennifer said the elemental blaster and my heart will decide this. In the end, this is a challenge I have to face on my own. I used the verb system to enter superdimensional space. Not that I was going to fight alongside you anyway, but there's no way my, my suit can withstand superdimensional space. <sighs> Sorry, Leibniz. But this is where we have to part ways. I'll be back with Eve, I promise. Don't you dare worry about me. It's disgusting. Besides, I'll be here appearing with the receiver in the scrap heap. And well, let's just talk to Leibniz. Oh. Okay, it's not gonna tell me how to fight this thing. This thing's annoying to fight in this set. And that's how we deal with it. We do damage. And we just shock it to death. Damaging it. Switching to Striker. Charge. And boom. Gah. How's that? I gave it everything I had after pouring my entire heart into it and unleashed the elemental blaster. My suit and helmet couldn't be couldn't withstand the force and broke. And AG disappeared without a trace, but where's Eve? Jason. Eve, thank goodness you're back. She 
decent. Fred, you kind of uh, an AG. Did everything that could to protect me. All he could do was shed his own blood to fight for me. Poor thing. No. He did destroy Area G after all. So maybe this was for the best. Wait, Eve? What are you saying? She's talking to us like she's on the mutant side. Eve's still going off a mutant signal. She's not back to normal. The elemental blaster didn't work. Was my heart not strong enough? Heart. <laughs> the infant queen remains unharmed. This can't be. There will be no way to stop the SF's destruction order now. Jason, I'm afraid your mission to save Eve ends here and now. Get out of here. I'll say this for you. I'll destroy Eve myself. No, you can't. What will happen to Eve's heart? Everything is up to her heart, huh? <laughs> I see, it really was that simple. Leibniz, did you all think you could just return Eve to normal because of Jason Strong's feelings for her? I knew something was off about this. Your assumptions never once accounted for what was in her heart. Eve's heart? You can't mean... Eve, you have no intention of returning to normal, do you? Eve doesn't want to return to normal? Leave this, you can't be serious. Shouldn't you be asking Eve that? If you're going to get mad at someone, it shouldn't be me. Right? Besides, your heart is clearly strong enough. But what about Eve's answer? Eve, you've already reversed course from these people, haven't you? I never thought you would be the one to figure me out, Leave this. That's right. I plan on continuing to live as a mutant queen. No. Can't be serious. If I return to normal, or even let myself be destroyed, the mutants would only rampage without a ruler to guide them. Sophia will be forced into an all out war with the mutants. The only way it would end is when one side is wiped out. Even more blood will be spilled. I can't choose a future with that. Eve, don't worry. I found the answer I need. The answer? I'll live on as the mutant queen and return to super dimensional space the rest of the mutants. Then, we'll close all the ruptures and sever connection to normal space. Forever. Only the mutant queen will be able to keep up something like that. But what about you, Eve? I'll never return again. That way, no one will have to suffer. That's the answer I found. The SF would never allow the infant queen to live. However, if the mutants were to leave normal space, on the condition that the mutants never leave superdimensional space again, the SF could agree to likewise never set foot into superdimensional space. Kane! With Jason's helmet broken, we lost the verse system, our only way of surviving in superdimensional space. The other side would, in would intrude again, for the sake of peace. Eve's decision is certainly a logical one. Not you too, Jennifer. Are you okay with this, Jason? Everyone else seems like they've already accepted what's happening. No, I can never. There's no way I'd be okay with this. But, but, looks like there's no time for long goodbyes. Mom, Dad, everyone. Thank you. Jason, I'm so sorry I can't be with you. After you fought so hard. But I have to go now. Is this really banter? Everything I'm seeing, I'm hearing? Is all of this for real? Real? Is it really what's in Eve's art? He spent this whole time searching for an answer. I'm sure she must have still had some, some doubts. If so, this may not be the outcome she really wanted. I need to know what's in her heart. What her true feelings are. I can bring the verve. I felt the verve. I can't look back. I found the courage to, to do this. And if I look back now, all that courage will fade away to nothing. When I beat the mutant corruption, I thought I could be with Jason forever, but soon realized I was no longer a ginoid. Ginoid. I would have to tell him eventually, but things change so fast. Mutant queen, superdimensional life form. I never asked for any of this, but it was the role I was given. I had no choice but to play my role. 
so that I could protect everyone. I never wanted to be a part of. I never wanted to be part of Jason. I hate. I wanted to be there with everyone. I want us to be together. But if I stay in this world, the peace for everyone to draw for would be destroyed. Everyone would have to suffer. I hate that even more. If me getting destroyed would fix everything, I would let it happen. But it's not that simple. To protect everyone, to protect Jason, I had to stay away. I hate it. But if the only thing lost and misses my own happiness, I had to believe it was the right decision. I truly enjoyed my time I spent together with Jason. You saved me on Earth. I saved you in space. We were each for our lives. I truly wish we could be together now and forever. We were together again after so long and now we'll never meet again. I hate it so much. That's why I can't turn around. I'll see his face and after I finally conquered my feelings and sealed away my heart, everything I buried inside would come pouring out. The future has changed. I love you, Jason. Portrait change. I said, Eve, I understand now how you really feel. I see. If a first system, it reversed what was in my heart and revealed my true feelings to you. Jason, activate the first system without his helmet. So for a moment, he... What was that? Oh, I really wanted to look cool when I was making my exit. Eve, I have listened to what's in your heart. I understand now. Jason, I, I'm, I'll be okay, alright? Even if we're far apart, please don't worry. I'll be fine on my own. Yeah, I'm sure I can handle it. Even handle all, all the means by myself now. I know I'll be lonely sometimes, but as long as I know you're safe, I can rest easy. I'm sure of it. I, I am the queen after all. I can't even watch over you from the other side in secret. So that's why I'll come for you, Eve. So please, wait for me. Jason, is that a promise? Yeah, it sure is. Alright, I trust you. That's why I'll be waiting. As Eve disappears into dimensional rupture, all I can do is watch. But make no, no mistake, I will find her. Just like I saved her on Earth, and she saved me in Area Omega. We will meet again. Our hearts are connected even beyond dimensions. And with that, Area Unknown. And we're in a new tank. I finally made it. My helmet's voice output seems to still be malfunctioning. I'm just glad we could get the verb system working again. Now let's see. This environment is quite different from the superdimensional space on Sophia. It doesn't seem to pose much of a threat to the human body, so I shouldn't need to use the Excel charger. There is no doubt in my mind, but she's here. Let's track her down. Now, we're in the Metal Attacker. We have, for a shot, crush a shot, we have 20 missiles. We have ammo cans. We have homing missiles, again 20, and Thunderbreaker. We have wall drive, hover, recoil jump, drive, and counter barrier. This is the same tank that we had. Again. At the fight against. Now we fight the mutants that disappear. Interesting. Some armor. I 
I guess I can actually show the passengers. We haven't changed much. Our van, we just have grenade bomb. So. Yeah, okay. Check passengers. And we can go up walls without needing SP. Looks like we're facing a different set of mutants. I am taking so much damage. A dimensional rupture? She promised you would never interfere from some initial space, and yet, now that another virtue has been found, Sophia's government and SF will not be quiet about it. What is she trying to accomplish? Well! Isn't this familiar? But there's no way to go. So let's head forward. Okay, get first. Submission. A bit weird, but we'll leave and come back in just to get some gear. A bit weird. Machine place. Yeah. Fully age. Hello again. Your. Took me ages to fly here. Uh, no way am I gonna deny a person a crocus. Oh boy. This have got a real doozy of a situation here. Surely, you got your reasons for doing this. But I've got a duty to a friend to keep anyone from getting past here. Sorry, but there ain't no way I'm letting you through. Gah. Hey Gombe, I'm sending Tabby over your way. Just leave the support to me. Roger, I'm counting you, Tay. I know I don't need an introduction, but let me make a dramatic control in a way. I'm Gombe, farmer of the planet Matoj. And I'm his partner, partner Tay. This here's our bamboo dragonfly, Dappy. This time, our Ricky's free strong. I'll show you the power of folks. You've been to Atlantis and back. Hope you're ready for a beam. Rematch from Gombe. Still E of Gombe? Gombe hasn't changed too much, but it's not him that the change is for. Well, in a way it is, but in a way it isn't. Okay. So we reach half health. We reach third health. And he counters himself. And Tappy counts of flares. And he counters himself. So countering might not always be the best situation. And here comes Kibiko. Got focus on dodging.
And Gombe's down. Gombe, you still kicking? And you'd be a real son of a gunner. Looks like we're done here. Say, Tappy, we're getting out of here. Time to skid out. Well, now that's interesting. Got the save point. And you can probably tell. I guess there's one extra thing I can say right now. Because once we're out here, I believe we hit another save point. Nope, we're not we're not fine goers, we're not fine goers. Slowly. These immunes are immune to these. But neither is Jason. So we've got to be careful. Nope, we can't cross that. So we've got to find another way around. Have the metal attacker. The metal attacker. There we go. That's much safer. fighting someone or something that requires the tank. Uh, nope. I know what's up there, but I don't want to. collapsing. Oh. Here's the map. The map's huge. See? This is all the bosses we have to fight. Good news is, yeah, we won't be. We will have upgrades. Bad news: these bosses aren't exactly easy, but they haven't been. There aren't bosses that we haven't fought, haven't faced before. We faced them before. Maybe not in this game. But nuffers. There's really only one 
well, technically two, we haven't. Well, technically three. For what? Very technical. Technically, all of them we haven't faced before, because you know. I want to try and make sure. And we leap out. And oh no. Not again. Huh? Sakura! Ah, whoopsie daisy! I mean, flower! No way. Do you two come to stop me too? To think the day has come when we will face against you. My feelings on the matter are certainly complicated. However, Kana's made up her mind. I believe we. she said, we doing it. Plus, I must fill my duty as support or I choose a support emblem. Key? He says. So you've chosen your side. Do you understand what that means? Sakura! <laughs> I can't hear you! I'm like super stubborn when I mind's made up right. Normally I would scold kind of for such behavior, but this time I must stand my ground as well. Please forgive us. Oh uh, yeah! Are you ready? It's kind of time, baby. It's a rematch against Ear. And we don't have a way to cheese this fight. And this is the gimmick. Ugh. Switching over to missiles. The fruit heal her, except for the watermelon. The watermelon bombs and certain special fruit. Do not heal her. I was hoping that we would get... Don't be afraid to just rely on homing shots. Like I said, this is gonna, I'm going to end this episode after I've defeated Sorry if I'm going quiet, this is one of the most brutal fights in this game. They stopped throwing fruit. Because there's just no way to out damage.
there she goes. <sighs> I got totally wrecked. We are incapable of further combat, since we have lost. No way, this sucks. Kara, with full roll, it's important to know when to quit. Hurp, if you say so. Bye bye, flower. Farewell. Their roll. Uh, seems they go on agenda. Well, we may find out what that is next time. Because. I'll be real. I'll need to save energy for the next episode. So, next time on Blaster Master Zero Free. But we're gonna continue through this dungeon. Can't really say much more than that. Because, really, it's pretty confusing. This is Zeno Zuma, signing out. 